Hi guys, it's Nina from Be Your Focus and we are here at E3 and we are here with... Stuart Nixdorf with Copen. Can you tell me a little bit about what you're doing here, what you're showcasing? Sure. So Copen is one of the leaders in the VR and AR market in terms of providing core display technologies and component technologies. So much like an Intel, we're typically an inside player bringing technologies out. But here at the show, we're trying to introduce new technologies we hope are going to change VR for the future. Wow, that's that's a that's a, that's a big thing that you're trying to do here. Yeah. So you've got a headset here. Can you yeah. tell me a little bit about it? Well, sure. Let me start with a little bit more because it is a big thing. But actually, what we're starting with is a small component. So what we have is the core to the headset is a new te display technology, which is actually a 4K display of like a 4K TV in an inch size. So you're able to miniaturize the core technologies that go in, significantly increase, increase the resolution, and then bring a product out to market that will help smaller, lighter, vivid, more vivid display technologies. So what does this mean for developers? Where can they get it? Is it released already? So we just released this new reference design, our developers kit, and we're now making it available to the VR community. So what we have here is this VR dual 4K system, and you can kind of see from the size of this that it's actually the display shrinks in in the back. You're able to get dual 4K displays and, uh, and bring it up into a standard developer kit. So we'll be shipping these kits over the summer. How much is this for? So this is a developer's kit. So the developer's kit is going to be working exclusively with developers and OEM customers on that. So there's not public pricing, but we'll be supporting the first 100 com companies on that. But then what we expect to see is early next year, this product released into the mass market as a premium consumer product. Right. So is this only in the US or are you also working with companies worldwide? We're working with developers worldwide. So many of the companies are uh, in the US, Europe, and Asia in terms of creating content. I think in the European market it's interesting. There's a lot of people working on industrial applications that are more like virtualization, car designers, car developers that use, need this kind of, of technology here in the US market, gaming, and we're here at the E3, the biggest gaming show, so these are all about gamers trying to get the best content, best resolution uh, out into the consumer market. Uh, you also mentioned AR. So yes. does this do? Does this have anything to do with AR? No, as well? this doesn't have. This is our VR product line. Copen is providing technologies in many, many AR products. That's another part of our business. And so on, on both of these, we found that it's very important for humans, for kind of human factors like your glasses. You got the snap glasses on. <laughs> Thank God they're coming into the market, right? To kind of shrink and make things more normal and comfortable for consumers. So you don't want big industrial products. We think the same thing's true with VR. So what you're seeing here is this first developer system. But if you remember the Oculus developer systems, they were huge, yeah. right? And they shrunk a little bit. This is our development system. We still think this is huge, even though it's like a third the size of the VR or the HTC systems, we still believe we can get this into a smaller, more comfortable, easier form factor. So just like the uh, Snap and others have shrunk AR, and what we're working on is to make AR very, very small, light designs, same thing will happen with VR. Okay, Great. so where can we find out more information about about the kit. About the kit. So you can come to our website at www.copen.com. So okay, I don't amazing. want to say that, but that's okay, whatever. So, yeah, so, okay. All right, thank you so much. Please go to vrfocus.com if you want to find out any more information about VR, and we'll see you there. Thanks.